Yo, it's Cutsman here, and I'm bringing you my third Let's Play video for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, cool. So, just go ahead and gonna go back to where we left off before, um, exactly the way it was. I'm actually lying, because I have done this about three times now, and apparently every emulator for PlayStation, if you haven't already noticed, I'm using an emulator for PlayStation, um, made seems to hate me because all of them seem to be glitching out and messing up on me. So I've had to restart the game quite a few times now. Um, not a big deal, whatever, I don't mind it because this game's always fun to play, even if I have to play the first part over again. Not too mad about it. Alright, well, I'm, uh, I'm. Pretty much leaving off to where I was before. Yeah, I don't move the mouse all the way. Turn it down a little bit too. It's pretty loud in my ears. Um, yep. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen my, my earlier videos, I really do suggest you uh, check them out. God, this guy is so bloody. Look at his sword. It's ridiculous. Why are you so bloody? Go away. Like, whenever he hits you, it's bloody too. Like, look how dramatic it is. Ready? Look at that. That's a lot of blood. And then when you kill him, he like explodes in just a jello of blood. You can, if you actually rewind, you can see that there was actually green in that blood. I don't even know why his blood was green. He had some fungus up in his body or something, I don't know. Oh, right, here's a secret actually. It takes a little while. This thing is really obnoxious. It's so slow. Uh, but, uh, yep, yeah, uh, I've actually been pretty inactive for about a week now. Sorry about that. Um, I don't even know if you guys have noticed, but it's just because I've been out of town. But I am back. I am back making a Let's Play video. I am back making my third one. I'm going to go ahead and go down. I think there's actually another secret down here somewhere. Um, let's see if I can figure out any. Uh... But yeah, if you haven't seen my, my, my past videos, I'd suggest you to check it out. I'll put a link up there in the top left. Okay, over here. here let me... Yeah, right over there. I'm Cajun, so I can't reach to it. No. Uh, how do you how do you make this dump? Now what the? Oh, I can't hit it again. Oh, I only got one cannon. Oh, I just got the Bastillard or Bastillard or Bastillard. I don't even know how to pronounce that thing. Oh yeah, like I didn't equip anything from before. Sunglasses. Let's be cool. Put on new cartridge. Put on my uh, my cloth cape before before to make Alucard look ugly. And there we go. I'm all set. I'm back to where I was. And the Bastiller pretty much what it does is it makes you attack super quick. So it's pretty much like like, like the like a rebuff of the punch, but you have a little bit longer reach. It's really convenient for me because I use it a lot and it's really helpful with my little with my tactics here. Hold on. No, don't do that. Come back. Oh my god, seriously. Now see if I have my powers that you get towards the end of the game, I could just ignore this this completely. But yeah, um, pretty much, yeah, I've done this video a few times now. <laughs> it's getting a little bit out of control, but nothing I don't mind, you know. Pretty much hanging out. You know, all the cards got some pretty feminine st stances here. You know, it's not, look at that, it's pretty, I mean, I, I, I stand like that, but that's beside the point. I mean, even when he's just sitting there about to throw something, look, you see how it's like, oh, shall I throw a knife? Ooh, I shall. Pretty, pretty, pretty funny actually. Yerp. So, it's pretty much tossing through here. If you guys notice, I really I just blew through this entire game so quick. Just run through it like no one's business. Yay, save point. Time to turn him into a coffin. He's dead. Just kidding. Back to life. Hi guys, I'm Alucard. What's your name? Just gonna run on through this, get my hearts, get my gold, get my business, kill the extremely bloody dudes. With the Bastilla going, I'll see you go to work. Look at that, boom. He didn't even get the chance to touch me, that's how fast I killed him. You can teleport behind him. Which I can't even do. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Whatever, that works too. Dead. Not only one fireball hit him. And get on my hearts, get my hearts. Alucard's a lovely man. He loves hearts. Oh, here's one of the powers. It's the uh, it's a diamond. 
it just kind of like goes from side to side. It's good for like hallways like this, but I don't use it very much. But it's pretty cool. It's it's more or less funner to watch than to use. Gotta use it and just like follow it around. You know. Oh man, it ran out. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You just gotta follow it and the kids are entertained. Yeah, these guys die really quick. I don't dig. He was conveniently placed right there. Yeah, see, right in front of him like that. He didn't even attempt to defend himself. He just died. Poor guy. Oh, look, the hand. Now, the funny thing about this, the hand, is that it is a hand. And what makes it funnier is that what it does. Look at that. It's ridiculous. It like jizzes. It's like you're pretty much putting out jizz. Actually, I'm gonna start using this from now on, just for the video's sake. Just for some, you know, for some lols. And right here is where it froze last time. Let's see if it freezes this time. Mm, nope, it didn't freeze, thank god. Okay, good. And there's holy water. If you're not familiar with holy water, that's what it does in every single Castlevania. It throws it down, and then it makes a little fire, and then it's gone. That's it. The jizz is better, because it shoots more out. Look at that. Yeah, you die from my jizz. I have demon jizz. Mm. Didn't even get a chance. That's how extreme my jizz is. I have to cut up the axe. Oh. Yeah, the only bad thing about the jizz is that uh, it takes a lot more um, uh, hearts than, than the knife does. Like, I think a knife, if not, it takes one, it takes two per heart, which is not a lot compared to the jizz. The jizz takes like three, which is not that dramatic. Hey, look at the knife. Nah, I'm gonna use a jizz. But uh, it's. It's, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's convenient because it hits them really, like, once. But the knives, you can kind of spam out. But this one, you can only use once. Actually, I can... Uh, you can use two at once, which is pretty good. Yeah, look at the save point. Um, I think the next boss is the Doppelganger. Ganger, Ganger, Ganger. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Which is probably one of the hardest bosses, in my opinion. The, he's obnoxious. He literally just just like smashes you into pieces it, it's it's really the easiest way to win against them is just the spam moves that's I, that's what I used to do I, I, I actually still do it because I think this is, this is it right here all right let's get ready I'm ready I'm ready Are you, you guys ready let's go no never mind wasn't the boss just kidding fucking flea man yeah there's clocks everywhere this kingdom is crazy. Aren't you like grandfather clocks? Like freaking like like 200, 200 bucks. And yet Dracula can afford a plethora of them. You seem hey look at Maria. And yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Nice. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are well, you? Well, according to her, she's putting a lot of trust into me, which is convenient. Not the I trust. Type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again if you live that long. Farewell. This girl don't know me. You don't know me, girl. I live longer than you. You gonna die. She doesn't die, or does she? I don't know. Am I ruining it for you, or am I not? Am I confusing you right now? That's right. You just got mind fucked. All right, let's see. Um, when's a doppelganger? Man, I wanna fight a doppelganger. What the hell? Alright, well, there's diamonds again. It, they, it really isn't that helpful. I think that's, that's like the, the least helpful item from this game is, is the, the diamond thing. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's really called. Let's probably look it up so I can, you know, be actually helpful for you guys. But, uh, you know, I just, I'm, I don't want to. That's the thing, I don't want to. I'm lazy. That happens when you play games all day, you get lazy. And go ahead and destroy this dude's house. Oh, here's a clock. The clock is a really cool one. It pretty much stops time. See, he's not even moving. And there's a book. You get the book too. And the book is what, what you see. Pretty much have like a bunch of different things going on right now. The book just cir circles around you until it pretty much kills what you're aiming after and eventually it runs out. The book takes some of the most hearts. The bo no, actually the clock takes the most hearts. The, the clock and the lightning, but you don't get the lightning until like the middle of the game. 
Um, I'm just kind of like running along now. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. This castle is so huge. Yeah, you see how? Oh my! You see how big that is? Actually, eventually that entire screen just fills up, and it's it's pretty funny because I'm like I haven't even discovered half of it yet. This dude has a huge castle. Yeah. So. Okay. So there's. A, yeah. I I can't go past that because it has a a seal that you get. I actually forgot how you get. It. I think you get it from the librarian, which you'll see soon. And then once you open that seal, it's pretty much all said and done with. I'd love to get to a boss, but it looks like it's not going to be heading there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give a pro tip really quick. Go ahead and give my little third, I think it's my third pro tip. Yeah, third pro tip. And it is, let's see. My third pro tip will be, it will be, alright, what should I name it? It'll be the the duck and cover there we go the duck and cover what it does is that um when you're when you're aiming down if you aim up really quick you can actually hold on if you hit and then go up as soon as you hit you can go out of the stance really quick because whenever you hit you can't really like react until it's done and then if you do that you can react right afterwards so for instance um you while you're down you hit the the hit button and then let go of down as soon as you're done with it and then you can do any movement afterwards, so you can so you can do that. Like, come on, I can't even do my own my own one. And then like go into like a a still of craziness. Here, I'll do this guy, so you can see an example. Oh, hold on, I can't even do my own. There we go. It's mostly helpful. Um, also going down, you can do it down too. So like, if you're if there's a bunch of like Medusa heads coming your way, you can pretty much just like aim at them a lot easier that way. You can actually do that in a bunch of different directions too. For instance, like you can go behind you. So if, if, like, if there's Medusa heads, like I said, coming from another direction, you can turn around as soon as you want to, and just, which is pretty helpful because it's this game can be a little tricky. Those things are bad, by the way. They actually stone you. They uh, shoot little spores at you, and they turn you into stone, which is really annoying. Because here, let me show you one. Yeah, and then you gotta like wiggle the controls and go crazy. Now let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna jizz in the plant. It'll kill it. Jizz. There we go. My jizz is almighty. Ah uh, no, screw the axe. Yay, new part of the map. Yeah, every time you run into those little CD places, that means you're about, you're about to hit a new area. Oh, I got a Zircon. Okay, so those little th that little thing you saw me pick up is like a, a a gem, pretty much. And what the gem does is it it gives you it gives you money. So whenever you go to the library, which I should be hitting pretty soon here eventually, it uh it it gives you uh more money to buy more stuff and. Me personally, I won't buy much because I don't like to buy stuff in this game because you can actually save up money to buy a huge cape at the end that lets you turn your cape into whatever color you want. But, yeah, but I, uh, I, I don't agree. I will not buy anything. I will buy that cape because that cape is awesome. I, I like to turn a la cards, uh, entire cape into a giant pink thing. So I think I've been pretty much going on for too long now yeah about 14 minutes which is way too long for me so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here um i actually just noticed that i reached the boss so if you want to tune in for the next episode and see me own the next boss which will be the doppelganger i definitely suggest you stay tuned so yeah see you guys